When you think of a used off-road station wagon, you might think of the Audi Allroad with its turbocharged six-cylinder, or you may think of a Subaru Outback Turbo with its turbocharged four-cylinder. But there's another option, perhaps more interesting, a Volvo with a turbocharged five-cylinder. Hello. So this is the Volvo Cross Country, a brilliant vehicle, if I do say so myself. We have, you might have noticed, some mirrors with lights on them. That is very helpful for our not so fabulous highways. Also these comets, unfortunately these turbine style wheels will not be available uh, unless you get them off an older model Volvo. Look at the, the overall profile, it's fabulous. It's one of my favorite parts of the vehicle. And honestly the front, it is a sort of thick teardrop appearance, which I do enjoy also going back this way, the doors, listen to that. I know I can look at it all day, but what is it like to drive and sit in? Let's find out. Show, don't tell. What if I said this vehicle has the all wheel drive system of a Land Rover and the ground clearance of a Jeep? Well, it does. The Haldex third generation all wheel drive system does a great job at quickly transferring power to all four wheels on all sorts of terrain. Actually, I've yet to get it stuck, but that could just be attributed to my driving skills or the impressive ground clearance. This grocery getter has 8.2 inches of ground clearance, which is just 0.1 inches shy of a hardcore off roader like a 90s Jeep Cherokee at 8.3 inches. Honestly, not what you'd expect. This curious Volvo is powered by a 2.5 liter turbocharged inline five engine that makes a modest 208 horsepower and 236 pound feet of torque paired to a five speed automatic transmission with manual shift mode. And it gets an average of, well, not very good MPG. In other words, it has just enough pep to get you on the highway and past semi trucks comfortably. However, the Turbo 5 does produce a nice raspy growl. Here, have a listen. When you sit in this car, you'll feel comfortable and welcomed due to the abundance of leather as well as the chunky seats but also comfortable knowing you are sitting in a Volvo. But why? Because it's safe. After all, Volvo invented the three-point seatbelt. This car features whiplash protection in addition to front, side, and curtain airbags. Whether I or someone I care about is driving, my mind is at ease. When buying a used vehicle, you may notice some relics from owner's past, such as this subpar and dated aftermarket head unit among other systems installed. So the head unit we established is bad, but what is good is this climate control system that I find very intuitive. We also have a great little LED cluster here that is introduced on the later model years of this vehicle. and. The only gripe I have is that there is no button here. They gave us a blank, whereas on the R models, we can turn off the traction control with an easy click of a button. Instead, on the off-road version, you have to scroll through this annoying little thing. Not very pleasant. A feature of this vehicle the passengers seem to like is this grab handle here, but I don't know why.
Use a mic. Sorry, um, the grab handle here is made of metal. So there's pros and cons, it's really durable, but in the summer, it is far too hot to hold on to. And in the fall or winter, it is tends to be way too cold. So I don't really know when they'd be able to use it. But, huh. Unfortunately, it seems that Volvo went with some squeaky plastic while making the interior, like in the armrest and uh, door handle here. But it does make for some plastic ASMR, if that's what you're into. So I am six foot three. Let's check out the leg room. Not very good. Uh, and this is with a hypothetical six foot three Ian in the front. However, what's good is the headroom here for your skyscraper friends like myself. That is important, I believe, when in a crash, because when I get in a sedan, you know, my neck will be crooked, and that is just not very reassuring while riding in the back. Something that is pleasant for the rear passengers is this rear pillar vent, which is not in most vehicles, where you would have a vent blowing at your knees, which doesn't really do you much good. So your rear passengers might suffer, but it is not in vain because you do have some great cargo space. A pleasant design choice by Volvo for six foot three people like myself is the hatch opening up so tall so I can reach in and grab my groceries as one does. However, on a lot of new vehicles, you'll come to realize like giant SUVs, you have a hatch that opens like five feet tall and there's no, The cargo space is not too bad. Uh, we have plenty of room, clearly enough for me to fit in here. Um, and a nice little 12 volt outlet in the back. Not bad. There is even enough room in the back for your pets. Optional uh, dog net available. So we established the wagon body style allows for practicality, such as more cargo space and headroom for your passengers. But it also allows for some of my favorite styling, such as these thick hips and the roof line continuing. I mean, look at that, it's, it's beautiful. Long story short, superior design being the wagon. I hope this video quenched your car curiosity.